I get by virtue of sitting in the chancel the opportunity to enjoy the stained glass of the church more than anyone else. And the stained glass, particularly at the time that we worship, generally coming through our south window, ends up illuminating a lot of the space here within the chancel. These windows were actually installed after the sanctuary was completed. It was the hope that the sanctuary would have stained glass, but budgeting did not permit that to be, and so plain glass was used in place of stained glass, and eventually only two stained glass windows were added to the church to enhance its architecture, one on the south wall and one on the north wall of the church, and both presented and dedicated to very specific people. Because I get to see these often, I've had a lot of opportunity or chance to to think about what this looks like. I'm going to move over to the one on the north in just a minute because you're going to have more of the aspects of its color. I think where I've landed is that I, this to me looks like the top of a uh, wheat. And so I think of the parables of the wheat and the chaff and other times when Jesus is walking in the fields, the disciples are picking off the tops of wheat. And so to me, this reminds me of wheat. I'm curious what it might remind you of. Now I'm going to go over to the north window because the sun is not coming through that window so that you might get a better appreciation of the colors of the window. So I hope you might respond to this video. Tell me what you think this represents. I'm going to dig into the archives a little bit and see if the artist who created them had something in mind when they created it or was given guidance or whether this was just something that came out of their artistic imagination. So if I find out something, I'll let you know.